Mission Report Miracle Birth Milanka was pregnant and regularly visited the doctor for her prenatal care. But when she went for her six-month checkup, the doctor noticed that the fetus's spine wasn't developing properly. Milanka fearfully went to another doctor for a second opinion, and he repeated the test, but the verdict was the same. The doctor said that the baby was unlikely to survive and even found that the baby's legs didn't move. Oh, Milanka cried copiously. On her third sleepless night, she offered the most fervent prayer of her life. She asked God to give her son abundant life so that he could be a witness of divine power. But ultimately, she said that she would accept the will of the Eternal. After the prayer, her heart was filled with peace. Milanka trusted God, but waiting for an answer was very difficult. A few hours later, Milanka went in for the new exam, which showed that the baby's bladder was working, and that was already a great sign. Sometime later, she returned to the hospital for a new, specific exam to analyze the baby's legs. Milanka and her husband prayed fervently in the hope that God would give them one more answer. During the examination, the couple continued in prayer. Five minutes passed, then 10, 15 minutes, and there was no movement in the baby's legs. After 20 minutes, the baby began to move his right and left legs. Milanka and her husband were elated. A few months later, the delivery took place and the baby was born, alive despite all predictions of death. Voya's life was not easy. His childhood was largely spent with doctors and physical therapists, but today he's a healthy young man who runs, plays ball, and studies in the Adventist school of Novi Sad, Serbia. This school was built with mission offerings from around the world in 1997, 25 years ago. This quarter, our offerings will help build a Pathfinder camp in Montenegro, Europe. Let's give generously.